Since last night, everything has felt surreal up until now. Nevertheless, life still moves forward. There are tasks to be done, and work to tend to. Oh my god, she is so fabulous. I should probably dethorn the roses first. And by that time I'm done with that, I can call the craft store to order more ribbons. I'm back. Oh, hey Sean, how's it going? <clears throat> Sorry, though it's not here. Ah, I grabbed whatever I thought would fit your friend, so hopefully these will do for now. Also, I figured he might need yell. Oh shit, motherfucker, don't do that. Siren's Lament, episode 9. Par Parley? Parley? I don't know. <clears throat> uh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Scared me for a second. Hey, um, I wanted to apologize for what happened earlier. Is that for me? Ooh, burping. Huh? Oh, yeah, it is. Well, what are you waiting for? Hand it over. <clears throat> uh, they're getting along. Oh. Uh, they're getting along better than I expected, at least. Ian is being civil, sort of. Thanks so much again for doing that, Sean. I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's no problem. There's just clothes there. So, what's that for? Oh, uh, it's just the uniform for my part-time job. I picked up from the dry cleaners on the way here. Oh, right. You have your early shift at the docks today. She's so nice around him. I doubt he even seen her angry side. <clears throat> Wait, Sean, don't you have to be there in ten minutes? Seriously? Crap, I lost track of time. Uh, uh, I should change and... Uh, I should have changed and left already. Oh, this isn't good. I swear I have the worst timing. I think you can still make it if you hurry. Yeah. Is it okay if I use your restroom to change really fast, Lara? Huh? Of course. Hey, uh, these are your old clothes, aren't they? Give me the ones you're wearing now. Huh? How am I supposed to know if the ones you gave me are any good? You're wearing that, so that must... What? So that must decent. What? So that must... Decent. I think you went to me, so that must be distant. Decent! <laughs> uh, but, but wait, that's not... Give it. Ugh. Ian, cut it out! Hey, seriously, what's the matter? They're just clothes, right? What? Are you sorry or not? Uh... I don't really have the time for this. Oh, sweet baby! Uh, uh... Sean, wait! Uh, don't mind me, and just focus on getting to your job, okay? Uh, I'm serious, though. As for you... Let's try showing a little more gratitude with you! Ah, oh, fuck! Alright, uh, I really need to get back to work. Uh, uh, see you later. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it takes a lot to get Lara angry. I'm partly impressed that you're able to bring out that side of her. Not that it's bad, more like refreshing. What can I say? Just comes naturally. Strange. I feel more tired than usual. I need... Mm. <sighs> this needs more water. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Oh, Sean is a tear. It's only the girl. Maybe it's on a break. Should we come back later? Hey, I'm right here. I can hear what you're saying. Fish bait! Huh? Uh, doesn't that guy have anything better? Oh, but I think it suits you. Be sure to thank Sean prop properly later, okay? Uh, Sean. This Sean that. Oh, Sean this, Sean that. Da, 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 da. Look at me, I'm Sean. Let me woo. No, wait. Oh, no. Wait, wait. I gotta do this, wait. 
Look at me, I'm so. Let me woo you with my fancy hair and non protectiveness pa 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 whatever. It's punctuality, and you should. You sound like a kid right now. Oh my gosh, he's actually my type, so freaking hot! I like Sean better, but this guy has such a bad boy error to him. Aura! Oh. How does she do it? She's so cool, I'm jealous! Let's aspire to be like Miss Flores when we grow up. Aren't they praising me for the wrong reason? Huh? Huh? Oh! Hello! It's Sean's girlfriend! Aaliyah! Is darling here? I was in the area, so I wanted to drop off some coffee. Sean doesn't drink coffee. Uh, he's at his other job right now, actually. Oh. Um, maybe you can leave it here and Sean can heat it up later. Alright, thank you. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Yo. Uh... Well, she was hot, snooty, but hot. <laughs> Don't even think about it. She's happily in relationship with Sean. Psh, no, she's not. I saw her heart. It's a bit dull. Probably due to some time passing, but she's undoubtedly heartbroken. You ask me, I'd say lover boy is just a rebound. Huh? What? 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 I'm so shocked at the moment. <laughs> what? What? Oh yeah, I don't think I introduced myself. How's it going, guys? My name is Cyclone, and welcome to another episode of The Siren's Lament. So, um... Yeah. I'm in shock at the moment, so uh, let's continue this shit. Leah has a broken heart. Um... And... Moreover... Sean is a rebound? Are you sure about that? You could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm right. But wait, Aaliyah got turned down from her dream job yesterday. Maybe that could be the reason why she seems heartbroken. Nope, that doesn't count. Heartbroken can only be inflicted by someone you love. Well, does a glowing heart always indicate a broken one? Hmm. Sirens only seek broken hearts. It'd be impractical if hearts illuminate for any other reason. Anyway, you're not getting the bigger picture here, Fishbait. Hasn't it crossed your mind yet? That girl is our ticket in writing ourselves of the cur or ridding ourselves of the curse. What? What? I'm confused too. The Siren's Lament, Episode Ten: Compassion. Think about it. The curse is shared between the two of us. If it's passed onto another person, maybe it will be lifted from the both of us as well. Not to mention, if we turn her siren, you can have Loverboy all to yourself. It's a win-win situation, really. I just have to find a way to lure her to the ocean and kiss her. Problem? Uh, problem solved. I'm a genius. But, but no! You can't do that! Why not? Do you want to kiss her? That'll work too. Plus, that's hot, I approve. <laughs> Neither of us are going to kiss her! But isn't she the one thing that's in your way of your happiness? Are you just going to let the guy you love get used by her? It's... Just wouldn't be right. Neither of us know if that's really true or not. We don't know what kind of pain she's been through either. Hmm. Too soft. That's just how the curse works. A life for a life. If you're just going to feel sorry for everyone, you're going to stay a miserable siren forever. 
I refuse. There may be more to the curse than we don't know about. Oh, than we don't know about. What if there's an alternative way? You're always making things difficult. Running, ruining my plans with your righteous crap. I'm not trying to intentionally reject your ideas. I just don't know if I want to go with a method that lacks any compassion. Compassion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's what got you these clothes, for instance. Put this aside for Sean, please. Uh, put this aside for Sean, please. I don't know if y'all heard that. I was doing the drinking gulp thing. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm starting to feel tired and dizzy. Am I just overwhelmed by everything that's going on? But why do I... Uh, uh, hmm? uh, hey, you... Oh, shit. I can hear the ocean. They say if you hold a conch shell to your ear, you can hear the ocean calling you. Oh, that's Sean. They say if you hold a, a conch shell to your ear, you can hear the ocean calling you. Hmm. So, what's it telling you? Anybody home? <laughs> it's telling me we should probably get going. Aren't you supposed to help take care of your baby brother today? <sighs> I'm always helping out after school. I'm sure I won't get in trouble for coming home a little late this once. It's healthy to break away from the regular routine every once in a while. And besides, the weather's so nice, it'd be a waste. It's a perfect day to simply kick back on the beach and watch the ships go by. Hmm, <laughs> sounds productive. Okay, it may not sound too exciting, but it's actually pretty relaxing if you try it. I haven't told anyone yet, but I'm going to get a sailboat when I'm older. Maybe take a year or so to leave this town for a while, see the world. My parents probably won't approve, but I've had my mind set on it for a while now. I see. If it's something you feel strongly about in your heart, I'd say go for it. Well, what about you, Lara? Is there something you secretly always wanted? Oh, so we're sharing secrets now. <laughs> Only if you're comfortable. I mean, it's just me. Hmm. Well, there is one thing I haven't told Cory or Granny about. You see, the thing is, I actually really envy you. Huh? I've always wondered what it feels like to have a mom and a dad, you know, a complete family. Not to say I'd prefer, oh, not to say I prefer having parents over Granny, but it's something that I think about every so often. Now that I brought it up, it seems like an impossible wish, not to mention childish. No, it's not impossible or childish at all. When you get married, for instance, you have in-laws. Might not be exactly the same, but uh, knowing you, you'll probably be loved just as much. You can't be so sure. Can't I? <laughs> you're going to have everything you've ever wanted, Lyra. Because you're the type of person who deserves that much. Oh. I can remember that time so clearly. The sound of the ocean. The faint scent of Sean. And the warmth of his hand. Siren's Lament. The see us next Saturday. Bonus pick. This is awesome. And sadly, I don't know what the songs are because I have not seen them. <laughs> Damn it to hell. I wanted to read it. Okay. <clears throat> That's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um... 
I'm so glad you like I got some views for this series. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye guys.